Hey guys, welcome back to a new chapter and a new lesson. What's looking is looking for what's looking. So the theme of this chapter is to help you end the seeking drive. And by seeking right now, I mostly mean to striving because seeking is an inherent part of our being. It's an innate natural aspect of being consciousness uh, being physically focused as a being here on earth, we could say. So it's not so much about getting rid of seeking altogether. It's not so much about getting rid of the desire for self-discovery and self-expansion, but it is about letting go of the really intense seeking nature of, let's say, the rat race or the, the striving negative self-perpetuating loop of trying to find something that cannot be found. That's where things get complicated. When we try to find desperately that which cannot be found by any traditional means, in this case, awareness. So speaking of my own seeking years, I was very much seeking for enlightenment. I was very much seeking for pure awareness, but the very nature of the seeking, the very nature of the striving, the way that I was seeking, put such a damper, such a contraction on my being, on my sense of who I am, that it became harder and harder for me to actually simply relax and enjoy ex the experience of life, the experience of being awake or being already conscious. In fact, I was seeking so hard that it was blocking me, as it does for many people, from seeing that what we're looking for is truly always already here. And so we hear that idea. We hear what we're looking for is already here. Stop seeking. And it doesn't usually do the trick because we won't give up seeking until we found what we're looking for. And that's quite all right. In fact, I encourage you to not stop seeking until you find what you're looking for. However, there is some things to realize that can speed up the dissolution of the seeking process. And much of this will by now already have dissolved because I've been so focused on, I've emphasized so much the idea, the concept of it being always already here and the concept of recognition rather than seeking for or trying to get to a different state, to recognize that it's always already here, to recognize that it's already perfect, to recognize that it's timeless, that it's spacious, that it's already here right now. Since we've emphasized that over and over again, I'm convinced that the majority of your seeking tendency has already dissolved to a great extent. This chapter is designed to help you really, to really dissolve that negative type of seeking, that striving type of seeking, that trying to find it where it's not present. Not that it is somewhere not present, but we're looking in the wrong places, we're looking from the wrong perspectives, and by wrong, I simply mean ways that take way too long. And that when we actually do find what we're looking for, it's actually by realizing that what we have been doing for so long was irrelevant, was redundant, was funny, was silly, was ridiculous, was a joke. So why not realize that immediately and give ourselves the gift of finding what we're looking for so that we can stop the negative seeking spiral. So this lesson is called what's looking is looking for what's looking kind of a funny way to remember that the awareness that is listening to my voice as we speak, as I speak, is what we're looking for. So you, that part of you, I could say you because it is you. So the you that is doing the seeing, the effortless, inescapable seeing, somehow wraps itself around the idea of being a limited, separate person. And then it goes and seek out a particular type of experience or feeling or state that it can then equate to awareness. However, awareness is not any particular state as we learned in the lesson of formlessness. Awareness is the spacious, infinite, endless, formless container, quote unquote container, that does not have an experience, feel or thought of its own. 
It is simply the awareness that's aware of an experience. The awareness that's aware of an experience does not have an experience of its own other than awareness. The experience of awareness is simply to be aware. That's all it has. It has no other shape of its own. It's simply the awareness itself. So when this awareness wraps itself around the idea of being a body and a mind, and then it starts seeking for awareness as if it's this experience, then it's missing the fact that it's already being aware. It's overlooking the profound existential truth that its effortless aware nature never leaves, never disappears. You are always already aware and you will always already be aware. So what I want you to do is to, in a sense, turn around, make a 180 degree turn and recognize that you are already looking. So emphasize the seeing aspect, emphasize the looking aspect. There is something that's looking right now. There's something that's seeing. Even if you have your eyes closed, even if you're blind, there is an awareness of this moment. Something is looking, something is seeing, seeing. something is witnessing this experience. When you notice that something is witnessing this experience, you can stay with that looking. You can, in a sense, turn around your gaze and look straight back at the quote unquote thing that is looking, at the being that is looking, at the awareness that is looking. Not literally in a sense, because you can't really turn around and then see awareness, because you would simply still be aware from your own aware point of view, even if you turn around. So this is obviously an analogy. This is metaphorical, but it can be very profound. Make a 180 degree turn and in a sense, look back at awareness, look back inside, look back internally, look back into the seer, into the seeing, into the looking, into the witness and simply rest with that. Stay with that for a little while, as long as you can comfortably stay with the recognition, stay with the seeing of the seeing, stay with the looking into the looking, notice the looking that's happening right now. And as you notice that you are looking as we speak and that there's no way to escape this moment being looked upon by you, being gazed upon by your true being, by your higher conscious self, we can simply rest in the looking, rest in noticing the looking, the seeing, the awareness. And when we do that, we can notice that what we're looking for cannot be an experience other than noticing that there is presently and always present a looking, a witnessing of whatever it is we experience. So whatever it is we experience now becomes a confirming reflective factor for us to recognize that we cannot escape what is looking. So when what is looking goes out to look for what is looking, it is bound to overlook itself. It's a lot of looking here. When what's looking is looking for what's looking, it is bound to overlook itself. Just remember that whenever you feel you're seeking for awareness, for clarity, for that which you truly already are changelessly so beyond time, beyond space, beyond objects, simply notice the looking and stop right there. Get dissolved into that. Dissolve into that. Rest into that. Recognize that. Make that your sole focus. Your sole attention span is on. Your entire attention span is on the fact that there is something that is looking, something that is seeing. There is a seeing quality present right here, right now. When you do that, you undermine the identification of the looker or the seer with what is seen that then tries to go out and find the seer. So it's always about turning back into what's already the case. It's about recognizing what is already here. It's about recognizing the qualities that are already present in your experience, but that you're overlooking, usually speaking, generally speaking. So become, learn to become very aware of seeking energy of the negative kind. It's very good to have a palpable desire for breakthrough, for new discovery, for new experience, for new empowerment, for new awakening. That's very good. That's very great. That is natural. 
You gotta have that desire, otherwise you wouldn't be here. You're here because you listen to your desire. But whenever that desire turns into a nasty cycle of trying to find something, of feeling not good enough, of feeling not abundant enough, not feeling free enough, not believing that you're enlightened yet, whenever you notice that you are under the assumption, oh, I don't have it yet, I'm not enlightened yet, you are quite literally looking for what is looking. Just to remind yourself, oh wait, I feel a negative seeking energy, which simply means that I'm somehow under the assumption that that which is already being here, that which is already seeing here, that which is doing the looking right now, looking at this experience of struggle, at this experience of contraction, at this experience of wanting to find better, a better place or wanting to find a greater awareness. That which do, is doing the looking of my perspective, of my negative spir downward spiraling contractive experience, that itself is what I'm looking for. I'm not looking for another feeling state. I'm not looking for awareness or enlightenment by changing things around in form. What I'm looking for is that which is already looking. So simply turn around instead and notice what's already true. Whenever you do this repeatedly over and over and over and over again relentlessly, whenever you find yourself negatively seeking, you will find such profound space, yes, spacious rest, such profound spacious relief from the struggle, from the tenacious nature of the negative seeking spiral. And it allows you to truly, truly amplify, amplify and clarify and increase the clarity of awareness being aware of itself, of the looking, noticing that it is self-sufficiently looking and that all that it could ever desire really is to rest in its own truthful nature and from that space expand and empower if it so wishes, if there is that desire to expand and empower yourself. And we all have that desire to empower ourselves, to liberate our belief systems and to become the full individuation expression that we are designed to be. But more profound or fundamental than that, at least in this course, in the path of self-realization, is to always have the safe space of the looking itself, to always create that self-referencing, that self-looking um, or loop in a sense, it's like a loop, it's looping back on, onto itself until it becomes this infinite circle. Awareness, aware of aware, awareness, aware of awareness, 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 aware of being aware, awareness, aware of being aware. When you repeat that over and over and over again, at some point it becomes automatic and continuous doesn't mean you have to remain in that state all the time, but it does give you a real example of what it's like to simply rest as the looking and not try to find the essence, which is that which is looking. So lots of words, lots of lubes. The point being, you are already here. Awareness is already aware. And whenever you find yourself seeking, you simply turn around 180 degrees and you notice that there is a seeing, there is a looking. And you rest as the looking and let go of all tendency to go look for what's looking and instead simply become the looking. So the homework for this lesson is in everyday life, for at least two to five seconds, whenever you notice that you're seeking, whenever you notice that you're trying to find your way back into awareness, notice that you're trying to find awareness as a particular type of state or feeling of clarity. When that's happening, simply allow yourself to be at ease with whatever it is. So allow the experience that is to become a confirmation of awareness. Turn your attention 180 degrees inwards, backwards, looking back at yourself in a sense as the seeing, as the looking. And then you rest right there in that two-way tunnel, that continuous loop of awareness, noticing that it's aware of the seer, noticing that it is the seer, of the looking, noticing that it's already looking and it does not have a form of its own aside from the fact that it's looking and you rest right there in that space and you amplify it and you build it up. You make it more crystal-like. You make it more clear. You make it more pristine. You make it even more aware of itself. 
you are the facilitator of awareness waking up to its own nature of the looking waking up to its own looking being already here so simply rest as you already are and start noticing the perfect ease that comes with being the looking itself Thank <laughs> you.